Good evening, everyone. We thank you so much for watching tonight. I'm John Evans. I'm Francis Weller. New at 6, new numbers show violent crime is down in Wilmington. That drop has grabbed the attention of the White House. WECT's Emma Dahl and Mayor toured our Wilmington Police and Fire Training Facility alongside White House Domestic Policy Advisor Neera Tandon today. Emma, you say she came away impressed with what she saw. She did, Fran. I asked Neera Tandon why she came to the Port City, and she said she wanted to see how the city was achieving its drop in violent crime. White House Domestic Policy Advisor Neera Tandon commending Wilmington leaders and police on Wednesday for the city's dramatic drop in violent crime. Wilmington is innovating to use both um, really up-to-date technology and strategies that work. WPD shared with Tandon that the city saw the lowest number of violent crimes in 2023 since 2019, a nearly 20 percent decrease. Police say that number is even bigger from 2002 to 2023. In nearly 20 years, violent crime dropped 42 percent. Leaders and police crediting partnerships with groups like the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms, and explosives, the U.S. Attorney's Office, the FBI, and others, as well as new technology. About working together and really streamlining our assets in a way that are strategically targeting crime, we've been able to have some tremendous success by doing that. Tandon getting a closer look at some of those partnerships from a canine bomb dog to the department's training facility. They also talked about gun tracing and seizing, all possible through the help of their partnership with the ATF. It's using all of these strategies to think through how are criminals innovating and how can we get ahead of them? And they are getting ahead of them. Officers also noted as the number of illegal firearms they had seized increased, violent crime numbers decreased. Tandon says those innovative strategies are all a testament to the good work Wilmington is doing. I'm just uh, impressed with what Wilmington is doing. I'll take it back to the White House so that we can spread the word about successful strategies here uh, and ensure that we can reduce crime like Wilmington is in, most, in other parts of the country. Tandon also got to tour the real-time crime center and mobile command post to other assets funded with federal money. All this in hopes to continue the downward trend of violent crime numbers. And Emma, do we know how the numbers are trending so far for 2024? We do, Fran. Homicides for this year have decreased by 27% as of now, and violent crime is trending down 4% as of mid-October compared to last year, 2023. All right, good to know. Thanks so much, Emma. We're working.